you're just so cute. What are you doing today? Why don't you go back to your house? Okay, well it's time to weigh my bag. It's a big parking lot here at the Davis Path Trailhead. It is plowed and it's right across the street from the Knott's Land Inn, a beautiful little hotel. Okay, my bag weighs 17 pounds, which seems kind of heavy for just day hike. Ugh, got all the safety stuff in there, right? Do I need that? The dog has a collar, but there's no tag or anything, and um, the dog is really like warm. I don't know, I want to start my hike. I don't know where this dog belongs. There's a sign over there, it says Mount Crawford 2.5. That sounds delightful. I'm hoping the dog must live in that little neighborhood over there. The dog doesn't seem lost. Bog Bridge washed out detour. Follow flagging tape to Davis Path. I read recent trail reports that people have been here, but it snowed again last night. More signs. Wilderness. So. Yeah, my dog friend is still here. Hello! Okay, what are you gonna do? I haven't gone very far thinking this dog is lost because he's not running back to one of those houses. It all seems so simple in theory. Let's go for a hike. The dog, of course, just ran across a few times. I can call my husband if my phone works. I texted him because there's that nice hotel across the street. So I wonder if somebody's dog and they dog. I, I don't know. those marks in the snow. It's all the dog going back and forth. Maybe I can call that hotel. Hello, buddy. Hello. How'd you get here? <laughs> I feel like the dog just came out, you know? The dog's warm. His feet are in good shape. Like, he has not been outside all night, that's for sure. There's a sign for camping and I chose this mountain because I thought I could handle it today, but also to scout it for camping. And I had no idea there was this little sign here. And you'd think I'd want to go right over there, but I'm not going to because I have to go to the summit first. That's a televator. Whoa. A little bar flipping up. Keep my foot more level even on the slope. Kind of slippery anyway. I mean, 1.22 miles in about an hour and a half, maybe a little more. And uh, there's some like deeper snow sections up to the dog's shoulders, but he 
keeps going a lot of energy and uh, I'm keeping going too. I just need to pace myself. It's beautiful out here, but I haven't really slowed down enough to pay attention to that yet. It's windy. Short trail, right? So, so far so good. Here comes my buddy. Hi buddy. Are you doing okay? Can you go all the way and then come back again? Get off. I see buddy. Are you alright? Poor dog. You need to go down. It's too cold, isn't it? I think I'm going down for the dog. It's uh, 17 degrees now. It's gonna be all right, okay? I'm gonna have to take you down. It's gonna be okay. Look at you. You're gonna run down this thing. We're gonna find your owner, okay? Okay. It's gonna be all right. Uh, is this a good time to mention I don't know how to go downhill in snowshoes? Should I just sit down? God. Oh, no, no, this is not gonna be good at all. What the heck? How, how do you do it? Should I take them off? No, I shouldn't, right? Is this a good time to mention my outfit? Isn't that cute? <laughs> but um, this is gonna be horrendous. I'm gonna sit down in this stupid down skirt and the snow's gonna go up my butt. You know, I'm not good at this. <laughs> How come? Shoot. <sighs> it's like awkward because it's not, it's not quite steep enough to get up, get up. Oh God, I wish I could do that. Good dog. I wonder if the owner's coming, you know? <sighs> uh, but when it's steeper and there's a lot of snow, then I inevitably slide. I try to slide like telemark skiing, like go down on one snowshoe, balancing and if it gets really crazy I go ahead and sit down even though it's not productive the dog is full on looking down the trail now as if his people are coming you're doing a good job we're gonna go back down there and find your people they're gonna be somewhere good job you're doing a good job Go find them. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh. Yeah. I feel very amateur today. Very clueless. Whoa. Did you come to save me? <laughs> Am I the most pathetic hiker you've ever randomly hooked up with? Because this is all so wrong at this point. Get off, get off. Let's, let's get down. nice right here I think there might be footsteps in the snow now on top of my tracks so I wonder if the dog does live in that house right there down there and maybe the owner walked up a ways I haven't heard anyone calling or anything I know it, it might seem like well why didn't you just go back from the beginning uh, um, that was not one of the options at the time. The dog was running all around and I thought it would just go home, as dogs often do.
Look how easy this is. But see, when I first started, this didn't seem so easy. Now it does. There's the trailhead. And I didn't see that camping sign. Of course, I probably walked right by it somehow. Uh, that's a mountain I was trying to go up back there, Mount Crawford. Dog has run right past the houses, run ahead to the parking lot. I oh, know here she is right here. I think we're going to the hotel. Okay, so how this ended was the dog and I were sitting in the car for a minute to go over to the hotel. And just then a Subaru pulled in this parking lot and the dog looked at it and it drove by down the little road toward the houses and the dog looked at it. And I was like, oh, that dog knows that car. So I said, is that your car? And I opened the door and the dog got out and ran, <laughs> ran after the car. Back home, presumably. So all is well with the dog. After that, I talked for a few minutes with this guy who just came in and he's going to go on a different trail and tried to go ice climbing by himself. And he looked very knowledgeable and calm. The opposite of how I feel after this pathetic performance of the day. But let's just call a duck a duck. That was a big mess. <laughs> but I'm done, I have tons of energy. I guess I might go look at Bear Knot's Road. I asked him about it. It's a closed road, but I think you're allowed to walk on it. And uh, I asked, asked him about this camp and he, he knew all kinds of stuff. So um, the day was not a complete loss because I had some training. I found a campsite didn't know about. And um, I don't know if I could say help the dog because the dog and I, you know, neither one of us should have, I, blah, blah, I don't know, I don't know. That I'm sure I'll look at this later and be like, why? Why? Just, no. I don't know. But yeah, that dog has probably hiked that mountain a few times. He's, she, she's much better than I am. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's just get on with it. I don't know what I'm going to do now. What time is it? 2 o'clock. My turnaround time.